Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 11 on your Mac operating system which support Apple Silicon chips like M1, M2, M3 and so on. We are going to uh, use a tool called UTM to install Windows 11 virtually on Mac OS. Let's see how we can install UTM on our Mac operating system. So just search for UTM. And the first link which will appear here will be from mac.getutm.app. So we are going to click on this link. I'm going to provide this link in the description of this video also. And straight away you can see the download button here. You can also see the description here which says securely run operating system on your Mac. And you can scroll down and read more about this UTM tool. So here I'm going to click on this download button which is going to start the download of this utm.dmg file. So once this utm.dmg file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this utm.dmg file and we are ready to install the UTM tool. Here you just need to select the UTM icon and then press command key and drag and drop this UTM icon on your applications folder which is going to install UTM on your Mac operating system. Now once UTM is installed we can minimize this and then we can go to the launch pad area and we can see this UTM icon here. So I'm going to open the UTM tool from here and you can see UTM is successfully installed and it's running on our Mac operating system. So here you can see what's new. I'm going to just click on continue here and this UTM tool looks something like this. Once you have UTM, you need one more thing and that is the Windows 11 ISO file. Now there are two kinds of Windows 11 ISO file. One is normal uh, Windows 11 ISO, ISO file which supports uh, Intel chips. But because we are on Mac operating system which supports the ARM architecture, we are going to download the Windows 11 ARM 64-bit ISO file. So let's see how we can do it. So just go to your favorite browser and search for Windows ISO ARM 64 and the first link which will appear here will be uh, like this which says download Windows 11 ARM 64. So I'm going to click on this uh, link here which is going to redirect me to this page where you can see it's the official page from Microsoft from where I can download the ISO file for Windows 11. Here I'm going to select Windows 11 and you can see Windows 11 multi-edition ISO for ARM 64. So I'm going to just select this option and then click on download now which is going to do some validation and then I can choose the language in which I want to uh, install the Windows operating system. So I'm going to choose the English language from here. So let's say English International and then I'm going to come confirm and then you can just click on the download now button which is going to start the download of this ISO file. So you just need to wait for this file to download. So now I can see this file is downloaded and I can go to the folder where it's downloaded and you can see it's going to look like this, right? So right now it's in my downloads folder. So once you have Windows 11 ISO file, let's open the UTM and let's create a new virtual machine. So from here, I'm going to click on create a new virtual machine. And then uh, you can see uh, which kind of virtual machine uh, we want to create. So I'm going to select virtualize and then I'm going to select windows here. And then, uh, and then the default here is install Windows 10 or higher. And then if I have the ISO file, I can also provide the path of that ISO file. So let's provide the path of 
the ISO file, which is the Windows 11 ARM based ISO file, right? So I'm going to click on browse here and then select the path of my ISO file, which I have downloaded and click on open. And then I'm going to leave this option as uh, default, which is download and mount the guest support package for Windows. And then click on continue here. And then from here, I can provide the memory and the CPU codes. So let me increase this memory a little bit here. And then CPU core, I'm going to allocate eight cores to my virtual machine. And then click on continue. And then from here, I can specify the storage size. Here I'm going to select around 100 GB of space and then click on continue. And then you have the option to uh, choose the shared folder. So I can browse the location where I want to create the shared folder. I will just select my download folder as the shared folder and then click on OK. And then click on continue. And then you have the summary here. So our virtual machine name will be Windows. I can even change the name to Windows 11. So it's more specific. And then I have other options like RAM option and CPU uh, settings, which I have chosen, right? So once you are happy with this, you can just click on save here and it's going to create your Windows 11 virtual machine. And you can see it's going to look like this. So let's play our uh, machine and here, uh, when it says press any key to continue, you have to be fast enough to uh, press uh, any key, right? So that you will be redirected to uh, this kind of Windows installation. So you can see it has started the installation of uh, Windows 11 on UTM. Here you can choose the language to install and time and currency format, right? So from here, the only available option right now is uh, English uh, UK and then the time and currency settings. And here I'm going to select the German time format and currency format, right? And then click on next. The keyboard option. So I'm going to choose the German keyboard uh, option here, but whatever uh, keyboard your MacBook support, you can select uh, the country of that keyboard. My keyboard support German uh, keyboard format. So I have uh, chosen the German one, right? And now I'm going to click on next. So for now, uh, I don't have the product key. So I'm going to click on, I don't have the product key. And then I'm going to select the image. So I want to install the Windows 11 Pro from here. So I'm going to select that and then click on next here. And then I'm going to uh, read these license terms and conditions and if I agree with those, which I am, I'm going to select accept. And now you have the disk allocation. So for now, I'm going to leave this as uh, default, which is 100 uh, GB of disk space in my default uh, drive and then click on next. And then it says installing Windows 11. So at this point, just wait for a few seconds. So in this process, uh, your virtual machine is going to start a few times. So you just need to be patient at this time and let it do its magic. So you can see, I uh, see the next window and it says installing 0%. Uh, please keep your computer on. Your computer may start a few times. And now after a few seconds, I can see uh, this kind of uh, ring and now this setup for Windows has been started, right? So in the first window, it says, is this right, the country or the region? Yes, this is correct. So I'm going to click on yes here. And then uh, it says, is this right keyboard layout or input method? I'm going to select the German keyboard uh, input method. And once I chose my uh, keyboard language, I'm going to click on yes here. 
and then it says do you want to add the second keyboard layout i don't want so i'm going to click on skip and now i can see uh, the next window which says who's going to use this device enter the name let me enter the name here which will be my pc name and then i'm going to click on next and then it says enter the password let me set a very simple password which i can remember and press uh, next and confirm the same password and then click on next and then uh, you have the option to choose one of the security uh, questions so you can choose any one of uh, these questions right so i have answered uh, all those uh, questions and now my windows uh, installation is moving forward and you can see in few seconds it's going to be ready so just wait for a few seconds and now finally my windows installation is finished so i can see this uh, windows uh, screen right and this is the name which i have chosen for this pc and this is the welcome kind of window so let me select anywhere else and you can also see uh, this option here which says welcome to utm guest tool setup we uh, need to install this so that uh, utm is installed inside your windows virtual machine so it's going to help your virtual uh, machine with some utm related stuff right so i'm going to click on next here and then click on i agree which is going to start the installation of uh, use dm guest tools so once this setup is finished click on finish option and your windows is ready to use right so here you can uh, just maximize it and use it right so so once you maximize this it will look exactly like a windows machine so from here you can you can see i am able to um, use this windows on my mac operating system and then i can minimize this and it works right so this is how you can install windows 11 virtually on your mac operating system which support apple silicon chip i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video